Previously, we saw that how we can convert the default WooCommerce shop page into something like this. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how you can customize the default product page with code only. The page you're seeing here is the default product page. We're going to turn this product page into this. But before jumping on to the tutorial, let's have a look at the steps we need to follow. If you're thinking you have already seen the first three steps somewhere before, you're absolutely correct. Because in our previous tutorial, we have already shown these two steps. So we can mark them as completed. But if you still haven't watched the first tutorial, please pause this video, watch the tutorial, and then come back. Now let's focus on the next step, which is to customize the image section of the product page. As mentioned in the previous video, you must save your code and organize using the WP Code plugin. But just like the previous video, I am going to use this section, the additional CSS section, to show you the changes live. It's for better demonstration. But you need to make sure you write your code in the WP Code section. In this step, we are going to see how we can customize the image section on the left. You can keep these thumbnail images at the bottom, just below the main image. Or, you can do it like me. You can keep the thumbnail images on the right. Or if you want, you can keep it at the left. Or at the top. The designing part is up to you. You might have noticed this thumbnail carousel section. We are not going to show this part in this tutorial. Because it's a bit more complicated. And we wanted to keep this section in a separate video. Now, if you want to design this section like mine, let me show you how. Oh, even though the designing part is up to you, you should change two things. One, you should decrease the height of the main image. And as we are going to implement the carousel section, you should limit these images to four. Now, coming back to the code, as I want to display the main image, and the carousel section side by side horizontally we need to add display of flex to the parent content and i'm going to give the main image 82 percent of width on a flex basis of 82 percent and 18 percent to the thumbnail section as they are colliding with each other let's leave a bit of gap and there is a there is a bit of unwanted margins. Let's remove them. Now I want to add a bit of rounded corner here. Like I said, the designing part is up to you. If you want to do that. And as you can see, the trigger button is outside the image. We need to move it here. That's what I'm doing here. Now, as you can see, we can barely see the thumbnail images. To fix that, we're going to give a minimum width of 100% to each of the image containers. I'm going to adjust the margin a bit. And this part, this transition property is used for the next tutorial, for the animation part. We can discuss that in the next tutorial. And as you can see, the images are overflowing and it's taking up too much space. Also, we need to limit these images to four. To fix that, let's. This part is um, also used for the next tutorial. And to hide the rest of the images, we are going to use, we're going to define a fixed height. The number should vary depending on your design. For my design, I've checked that this value is right for, but it will be based on your design. And I've added a bit of margin and 
value. The reason I've kept gap here and here because in the final reason you can see I want to add this arrow button here or the navigation button here. But if you want to keep the button for example here and you want to make sure this images take full height then change this height the value of this height. like i said the designing part it is up to you now i want to add a bit of rounded corner here and for a for a better user experience i want to add border to the active image With that, the designing or the customization of the image section is done. Now we can move on to the next step, which is to customize the product info and call to action section. When customizing this section, we need to keep two things in mind. First, we want to remove this category section because it's already mentioned here. So it's kind of redundant. Second, we want to move this section below the title. We can achieve this with two methods. Number one, we can use CSS to arrange the order of these elements. What we have to do is give display of flex to the parent container and adjust the order of the elements. Just Google it. It's really easy. But if you're struggling with it, ask us, we'll help you. But we're going to take the easy approach, which is we're we're going to use the built-in functionality given by our theme. So check your theme. It should have the functionality to change the orders. Then first click on the WooCommerce. Go to the single product. Scroll down a bit. We want to hide this category. So click here on the eye icon. Next, we want to move this section below the title. So grab this meta and grab it below the title. Also, if your ratings are showing here and your price are showing, then you can hide it from here. Next, we should add a bit of CSS to make it look nicer. Especially this add to code button. It's not properly aligned and the text is too large. We need to decrease it. So let's head over to the CSS. Aside from the add to code button, the designing part here is up to you. So don't copy my design, make it your own. But I'm just going to quickly go through my CSS. First, I have increased the font weight of the link of the breadcrumb. Added a bit of color to highlight. Changed the font weight of the title. Added a bit of space. Added border bottom here. Given a space between the short description and the call to action button or the add to code button. Next, I've increased the padding here. Given a bit of border radius or rounded corners and change the border color and also you can see this quantity button uh, increasing or decreasing button it's not always visible it's visible when i hover over it so i also changed it to make sure it's always visible but it's up to you whether you want to make it like mine now comes the design for the app to good button as you can see, there is a bit of margin at the top, which is why the button is not properly aligned. That's why we're going to remove it from the container of this button. We're removing the margin top. Next, the text here, the font size of this add to code text is too large. We're going to decrease it. And now it's properly aligned. With that, we're only left with the last step, which is to customize the date. 
when designing the table, ensure one thing, which is to decrease the width of the header, because the table headers usually contain less words. So if you give it less width, it would look nicer. So give it a width around 20 to 30 percent. It's up to you. And rest of the design, you can change it based on your website. I'm increasing the font weight of the header, giving it a bit of background color, increasing the padding of each cell, and increasing the width of the borders. Like I said, this design part is up to you. With that, all of the steps are done. Make sure to add your code here in the code snippets section, the WP code plugin section. As you can see, for the product page, I have used six snippets. Three of them I have already shown you, and the other three are used for implementing the carousel section, which will be shown in the next tutorial. This is what we have implemented in this tutorial. Aside from the carousel section, everything is done. In the next tutorial, we are going to see how we will implement this carousel section. So, see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.